I call the meeting to order. Roll call. Chairman Kelly. Present. Legislator Quackenbush. Present. Legislator Diamond. Present. Legislator White. Here. Legislator Beniak. Here. Legislator DeChesse. Here. Legislator Wheeler. Here. Legislator Isabel. Here. Legislator Patel. Here. All right. Stand for the pledge and a moment of silence afterwards. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Presentations, anybody? <clears throat> yeah, I have three items. In your budget, you had $370,000 set aside for that $10 fee. And does anybody know what the status of that is? What roads it might fix or bridges or what it's doing? Well, I guess that answers that. Second thing, I know that you're doing the charter. And I tried to get some things passed when I was here, but I couldn't get it on. I think you should allow the public to vote on your terms. I don't think it should be three years. I've been consistent with that. I think it should be two. Amador, Tarco, most people in that category are two years. I think you should allow the public to vote on that. The third thing is, under your 204 powers and duties, under number two, it talks about an administrative code. And all I would like to know is where can I peruse that? Where can I look at it? Where can I see your administrative code? I, if the chair allows, I can address both of those comments. Sure. We're not proposing to change the term limits, especially in this draft. If we do clarify, um, that would be subject to permissive referendum to answer that question. Um, secondly, the administrative code, the charter spells out that if the legislature chooses to adopt one, we have not adopted one. Chooses to adopt it? It's not mandatory. I better go back to school. It says, shall set forth the details. Where did you read it? It's not mandatory. That's fine. Important. In the definition. <laughs> the definition. Do you intend to do it? It's not up to me. It's up to five a majority of the legislature. Okay. Thank you for your time. Since you allowed Ryan yes. under public comment to address the yeah. two issues, could could we? It looks like Matt was in the corner wanting to address the first thing you brought up. Could we allow? Oh, no, I'm just going to give an update. Uh, we've been working with the county clerk uh, in the state of New York to formalize the process uh, for assessing that uh, fee. Um, the latest update I had from her was that I believe we'll be, uh, begin collecting the fee shortly, but I don't have a hard date on that. But I know you know getting that process set up at the state did take some time after the passage, but we're working, we're working through that. Any other public comment? No? All right. Um, any presentations? All right. Uh, communications, I don't have any. Does, uh, all right. Um, I'll look for uh, a motion to approve the minutes. Motion. Uh, um, Terry, Barb, um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. You want me to run down for all of them? No. Nope. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I'll look for a motion and a second to accept the budgetary transfers. Barb, Tom. Um, discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. All right. Next is a motion uh, and a second to accept the procurement record. Tom. Uh, Terry. Yes. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carried. Uh, old business. Uh, we have resolution 
84, resolution authorizing a land use permit for FMCC property for SUNY Research Foundation Weather Station. Um, the attorney has uh, asked to table it. Um, she has a meeting with uh, the president of FMCC and Fulton County coming up. Hopefully. Okay. Working on getting it scheduled. So I'll look for a motion to table. Right. Second. All right. Here. D discussion. All right. Can I ask, can I ask if that, is, is that going to be a problem if we table that or for you? No, I'm, I'm going to set up a meeting and, and find out if there are any concerns we can address them and hopefully next month we'll be able to really have a great meeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Any other discussion? All those in favor of uh, table? I could be wrong, but I think when there's a motion and a second to table, that ceases debate and discussion. So in the future, we probably don't have this, this is my correct? Yeah, you are right, Tom. Yeah. I didn't I'm done have discussing it. what we should have discussed. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't ask for discussion before I look for a motion to table. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those abstain? All right. Any other old business? Uh, moving on to uh, the resolutions. Uh, first is a resolution authorizing county executive to sign agreement continuation of Kilo, huh? Cleo. Oh, okay. Agreement between the County of Montgomery and the counties of Fulton and Schoharie to comply with implementation requirements for the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act of 2014, sponsored by Kelly and Beniak. Discussion. Um, roll call. Who's uh, Aye. Aye. You, Spencer. Chairman Kelly. Aye. Legislator Quackenbush. Aye. Legislator Diamond. Aye. Legislator Whites. Aye. Legislator Beniak. Aye. Legislator Duchesne. Aye. Legislator Wheeler. Aye. Legislator Isabel. Aye. Legislator Patel. Aye. Yes. All right. Next is a resolution confirming appointment slash terms of representatives to the Fulton Montgomery Gehari. <laughs> County Workforce Development Board made by the County Executive, sponsored by Beniak and Kelly. Uh, discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution amending 2015 operating budget transfer funds for Youth Day 2015, sponsored by Kelly and Beniak. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution approving of Youth Day 2015 and authorizing the County Executive to sign agreements. Montgomery County Youth Day 2015, sponsored by Beniak and Pertel. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution of amending 2015 operating budget transfer funds for purchase of ATI Community Service Truck, sponsored by Beniak and Duchesne. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign agreement 2015 resource allocation plan, sponsored by Beniak and Pertel. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution awarding 911 phone bid to Frontier Communications, sponsored by Beniak and Pertel. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution amending the 2015 operating budget forfeiture monies, sponsored by Wheeler and Kelly. Discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain, motion carried. Next is a resolution accepting aid to prosecution grant 2015-16 and authorizing the county executive to sign agreement sponsored by Kelly and Pertel. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain, motion carried. Uh, next is a resolution authorizing county executive to sign intermunicipal agreement <coughs> for leachate disposal with the village of Canajahari, sponsored by Bertel and Kelly. Discussion. 
Hearing none, roll call. Legislator Patel. Aye. Chairman Kelly. Aye. Legislator Quackenbush. Aye. Legislator Diamond. Upstate. Legislator Whites. Aye. Legislator Beniak. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Legislator Wheeler. Aye. Legislator Isabel. Aye. Pass. Next. <clears throat> Next is a resolution amending the 2015 operating budget, eliminating account supervisor position and establishing an accounting position, sponsored by Wheeler and Diamond. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. <clears throat> Next is a resolution amending the 2015 operating budget for purchase of new scale at Amsterdam Transfer Station, sponsored by Pertel and Wheeler. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Um, next is a resolution accepting bids for 2015 real property tax foreclosure auction, sponsored by Wheeler and Pertel. Um, I have a comment to make on this. Um, it's come to our attention that uh, there was a possible issue with the foreclosure process of lot 42 um, and I make a motion to amend the resolution 108 to strike parcel 42 from the resolution thereby rejecting its bid. Second. Discussion. Lot 42 in regards to the email. Uh, can we just discuss it? I mean, I, you know, I read the email but you're going to reject the, the bid mm -hmm. totally, mm -hmm. and can we talk about why you would, why you're, or what's the game plan? Um, the owner would pay uh, the 2013 taxes that are owed to the treasurer. Where is he? There he is. Um, that, that's the game plan. Um, within, you know, a reasonable amount of time, as in. 24 hours. So I guess my question will go to the county attorney, not to put you on the spot, but I will. Are you good with that? Yeah, I researched this issue, um, Legislator Quackenbush, and uh, it appears there's a good legitimate government reason to reject this bid based on some questions <clears throat> with the process with the foreclosure on this one parcel. So I, 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 I'm good with it, and I, I certainly want to work with the folks to. to make it all good, but are we leaving it in the door? I mean, are, I just want to know that we're going to be uh, uh, able to do this in the future, too, because in the past we have not, you know, there was like how many deals that I've had to try to go as town supervisor with Sean to allow someone to do a payment plan to, it was like pulling teeth to, to do something like that, are we? But this is a special circumstance and kind of an unusual one. Um, during the foreclosure, closure process, it appears that part of uh, one of the requirements was not followed through on this one parcel. Alone. Okay. So it's kind of the exception to the rule right. based on um, uh, an error in the file. And uh, moving forward, there is a plan in place to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. So hopefully, Good. hopefully we won't have to have this discussion down the road. Thank you. I think I remember because in the unfortunately in the past there have been instances because this body can remove any parcel. Um, but because I think many of us have talked to this individual, um, it, there is a circumstance in this. Some some things have happened that makes this um, a unique situation. That it's our pleasure to remove this. Um, so I, I enjoy doing things better now. <laughs> well, my understanding is some of the supervisors used to come uh, on horseback in the past. It's true. Uh, <laughs> Legislator Diamond, did you have a comment? Yeah, I would uh, be in favor of re uh, removing the parcel from the list, but I would just like to speak to the process uh, as a whole, where I think we've made some progress in meeting uh, ahead of time to, to discuss uh, properties that we'd like to combine and other things, and in the future, we can, I think it'd be wise to meet with our attorney and uh, county treasurer and real property uh, prior to the auction also. And secondly, um, 
once the auction's over, I think we should again meet and uh, discuss, uh, for instance, uh, there's like three parcels I think, uh, obviously our number one thing is to get them back on the tax roll, but I think with some expertise that we do have here on the board in real estate and with uh, some things we probably could, could uh, do a, maybe a better, more efficient job afterwards. But uh, for this auction, I would uh, be g glad to support uh, the amendment of removing the parcel and accepting the rest. All I'm going to say is I'm 100% for giving, keeping somebody into their home if we can. That's my personal opinion. Thank you, sir. Any, any uh, other discussion? If not, all those in favor of the amendment? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. All right. Any further discussion on the resolution as amended? If not, roll call. Legislator Wheeler. Aye. Legislator Isabel. Aye. Legis Legislator Bertel. Aye. Chairman Kelly. Aye. Legislator Quackenbush. Aye. Legislator Diamond. Aye. Legislator White. Aye. Legislator Beniak. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Yes. All right. Um, next is a resolution amending the 2015 Everybody operating please. budget and authorizing financial contributions to the MV500 Committee for the cost of preparing the Mohawk Valley region's application for the New York State Upstate Revitalization, New York State, uh, yeah, I did say that right, Upstate <laughs> Revitalization Initiative, sponsored by Diamond and Pertel. Discussion. Hearing none, uh, roll call. Legislator Diamond. Aye. Legislator White. Aye. Legislator Beniak. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Legislator Wheeler. Aye. Legislator Isabel. Aye. Legislator Patel. Aye. Chairman Kelly. Aye. Legislator Quackenbush. Aye. Um, next is a resolution confirming appointments made by County Executive to the Board of Ethics, sponsored by Wheeler and Kelly. Um, discussion. We need to fill in that second blank. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, we, so we need a motion yeah. to amend. Yeah, okay. but is, is there a... Okay. okay, is there a name to put in there? Yeah, uh, for the, the one space that was empty was for a county employee. Our IT director, Dan Kowalk, uh volunteered for the job and uh, I'm happy with that choice and, and appointed him. That's, <coughs> that's my sponsorship. <laughs> okay. I'll second. Uh, I'll second. And uh, Ryan. Discussion on the amendment. All those in favor of the rest of the amendment? Aye. 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 Um, opposed? Abstain? Motion carried. Uh, now on the resolution as amended. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? <laughs> motion carried. Next is a resolution confirming appointments made by county executive uh, to the Fulton Montgomery. Count, uh, Community College Board of Trustees, sponsored by Wheeler and Pertel. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Congratulations. Next is a resolution approving the extension of the collective bargaining agreement between FMCC, Fulton County, Montgomery County, and the Educational Support Personnel, sponsored by Wheeler and Pertel. Um, do we need to work on that? Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution. Resolution approving abstract of audit claims, sponsored by Wheeler and Patel. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Next is a resolution recommending the New York State Legislature, legislature pass Bill A 
7521 and S5550, which would reauthorize legislation relate relative to sales tax in the county of Montgomery. Sponsored by, there's an issue. Uh, yeah. Kelly yeah. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll second it. Oh. Uh, you're going to second it, Gary? Yes. Okay. Sponsored by Kelly and um, Beniak. Discussion? I just want to make it clear that this is not a new tax. This is just re-upping the previously additional tax. Mm -hmm. It's continuing the same rate as already in place. I just have a question if there's an answer, Tom, you may know. The current sales tax agreement expires when? No. Well, it's every, it's every, uh, we have to well when is it up for Reno, though? You're talking about the one with the city of Amsterdam? The countywide, yeah. Countywide, uh, oh, it's a 100 year deal, right? Yeah, 15, no, it's like 15 years. 15, 20 years. 15, 20 years, Sean, that's right here. Yeah. Yeah. There was a 20 year agreement, I believe, or a year four or five of that agreement. Yeah. But, it's, I did ask last week, and it was, this is a $7 million tag, so. All right. Pays our bills. Yeah. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Oh. We need a roll call on that one. We need a roll call on that one. Sorry. What do you need a roll call? Wait, just, it's a two-thirds vote. Because it's a two-thirds vote, so roll call just makes it clear for the record who's voting. But if it was unanimous, I guess you can, you don't have to. Okay. It just okay. makes for a neater record. Okay. Um, yeah. Next is a resolution uh, adopting and revising non-bargaining policy for <coughs> full-time appointed and department heads. Uh, sponsored by Wheeler and Kelly. Discussion. Yes. Um, there are, this has been a very large project to say the least. I want to commend our um, new personnel officer. She has been <coughs> professional. She has uh, worked so hard on this. That it has been a pleasure to say the least. Um, Tom has been great, Roy, Ryan, Martin, Terry, all of them. Um, Joe has talked to me endless over different aspects of this. Um, we split it up for a reason. Um, there are a couple changes since we met last week. Um, very, very small. The items that we changed are in here. We added D to the introduction. Um, the thing that I want to express to this is this is not a contract. This is a working document that we can change as we go. So after we pass this, um, we can still work on it. If there's things that we need to develop or change um, as we go forward. Um, there was something in the tiers that we changed from shall to has, it was almost a typo, and that was under, on page 11. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was 15. answering the question about uh, passing a resolution about the state retirement, which we've already, has already been done by the county. Okay, so if there's no, um, if there's some questions, yes. No, I just had um, two comments. Just that I'm very happy to see that we're, we've taken electeds out and we're addressing that in another policy. I think that's a wise way to move forward. Um, and I think another thing that's a wise way to move forward is um, the compensation appendix by um, using these raises instead of bonuses. I think it's a much fairer way to do it. Um, and, you know, we're, we're paying, you know, we're starting on a path, hopefully, to you know, get our get our uh, eggs in, in a row and, and pay the people what they're worth that work for this county to do a great job. The one thing that I have had a commitment from, not only from the executive's office, but the county treasurer, the CFO, 
but legislators is when government wants to get something done, we form a committee. So working to get salary schedules, working on different um, concerns that might not have been explored to um, the fulfillment um, can still be addressed. And they will be with all of the um, different aspects. Uh, so. Joe, legislator. You. 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 I'm not going to be a popular person. I'm not for this legislation this year. It's $100,000 more out of the budget this year. Looking at $160,000 next year. And I don't feel comfortable with that, so I can't vote for it. I just have one question in response to that. When we were doing the non-bargaining last year, we were doing it around the budget time. Was that included in? No. No. Okay. Bell. Um, any and before I go to you, any other legislator? Because we have to share, we have to share. Well, I just wanted to address his concern. He said 160. This is only 72,000. 80,000 this year and 160 next year. It goes through two years, right? No, we're only addressing right now, and we're only doing this this year right now. This is a working document. Um, so this would be 72,840. Um, none of these. Um, employees have gotten one dollar increment, nothing, for over three years. So this would be a one percent. There has been longevity, um, which is <coughs> what the county is, but for all of the other um, base, this is a, just a straight 72,840. Nothing else. And then how much next year? That would be addressed in the budget. And with the committee, if we are addressing the paying people what they're worth is one of the things we're addressing. And I absolutely do support that. So thank you so much. Legislator Clark Bush. Well, the 72000 that we're paying this year doesn't go away next year. No. It's still still going to be paid again on top of whatever else we may pay. So mm -hmm. I believe Legislator Isabel is correct in a sense that it's going to cost you 72000 this year and another 72000 next year. It doesn't go away. Um, my biggest issue with it, you know, I, I want to give everybody what they're worth. I just think that this whole bucket system, I've complained about it before. You know, I'm being told that we're going to address it, and we're going to look at it, and we're going to eliminate it over time. But I just don't, don't like it. Pay people what they're worth. Give them, uh, you know, I used uh, the commissioner of social services as an example. I think he's due to get $1,100. Whatever that 1100 is, equal to in a percentage. Give him his raise. He's going to keep that raise forever. Moving forward, it's not going anywhere. This is just confusing to me. I, I, it was made up in 2000, whenever it's sick. The, I, That's why I gave everybody a printout of exactly what the actuals are. So the real numbers, the hard facts that we all got are here, but the actuals were given in your desk. So. The, the problem, uh, just so I can finish, the problem that I see is I see names by this, and I don't think it should be listed not, not the policy itself, but I see names, real names. It should be positions. This is the position. This is what it's worth, period. The executive now is bringing these people in and hiring people. Um, it's his decision. And if somebody should make more or less, for whatever reason, county attorney, good example, um, you know, we should have that discretion, that leeway. And that, that's my legislative way. problem. A couple things. Um, I think, you know, it would be, I would be very supportive of bringing on a financial um, consultant to look at the way we pay our people, something that's independent. So it's not, um, you know, there's no, there's no bias to it to study the way we compensate our employees. Um, I think that would be, um, uh, in my point of view, a favorable way to address uh, compensation and moving forward with employees and com um, salaries, benefits, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Uh, and uh, that's it. 
Any other discussion? Hearing none, uh, roll call. <clears throat> Legislator Wheeler. Yes. Legislator Isabel. No. Legislator Patel. No. Chairman Kelly. Yes. Legislator Quackenbush. Pass. Legislator Diamond. Aye. Legislator Whites. Aye. Le Legislator Beniak. Yes. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Legislator Quackenbush. Yes. Pass. Next is a resolution adopting a revised non bargaining policy for elected officials sponsored by Wheeler and Kelly. Discussion. Now this, on the other hand, um, <laughs> I do think uh, this could use some work. Uh, we've had a lot of discussions about how elected officials should be treated as far as compensation and benefits go. Right now, we have, we treat some elected officials one way and some elected officials another, and I don't think that's the right way to move forward with this. Um, the fact that this affects a smaller group, a group that um, ran for office to be here, I think we do have the time to address this in, uh, in a way that's going to be, uh, that's going to be, I think, overall a better package, something that's, uh, more fair to everybody included, um, and I have many thoughts on this, but I'll leave it at that for now. I will not be supporting this. I think it needs much more work than we should. Um, I think we should move forward and, and address this now um, by itself. Did you have your hand up? Or? I'll, I'll go after. Okay. I was going to make a motion to table, but I don't want to cease the discussion, so. Uh, I won't do it right now, but I, I would follow through with it after everyone's had their opportunity. I just feel that we're, we're elected. We <coughs> know we're getting elected <coughs> to when we take our jobs. Whatever that is, we know it. And to just get, you know, give the raises based on the percentages that people are going to get, I just don't agree with it. I think that I'm getting elected at... Uh, $10,000 a year, I either run for it or I don't, and when that term is up, um, then, you know, the new, the new people coming in or the new body being seated or prior in that last budget can do that. But I'm talking, I'm speaking about whether it's, you know, sheriff, treasurer, county exec, uh, legislatures, all of us that are elected. My wife's the elected coroner. I wouldn't do that job for what we care. <laughs> Six thousand or seven thousand dollars a year, but she chose to. It's her passion. She likes to do it. And she chose to. That's fine. You know. That's. Any other discussion? <clears throat> well, I just want everybody to remember or know that if we are going to do it that way, at, at the end of the term or at the beginning of the term. Uh, we're going to have to multiply. It's going to be a multi-year raise, so the raises will be bigger. So it'll be one shot. But for example, if if elected official has a three or, or four-year term, I would think that you're going to compensate the the position over that three or four years. Correct? If you're asking me, my answer to that would be no, because. I'm not giving a person a raise or not. I'm giving the position a raise. To me, this is what Tom Quackenbush's position of legislator in my district should pay, not because I've been here three years and I've hung on to my seat and been successful for 20-year incumbency. I don't believe that's how we should be paying. It should be based on the salary of the, of, of the position. So, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to... I mean, we've had a county sheriff who's been our sheriff for how many years? I don't think, I think he should get paid as the sheriff, the person running. What are we going to do if, if a new person were to run for the position and reduce it? That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, Joe, then Ryan, then Terry. Chair, I'm following a question on this vote. Yes, you 
is a resolution adopting I didn't even get to discuss if one to one word about something I worked hundreds of hours on. I'll cover it under other. Next is a resolution adopting introductory local law E of 2015, local law establishing salary schedule of various county officials sponsored by Wheeler and Kelly. Um, this has to get, would this have to be to delete the elected yeah. officials or take it? I'll make the such amendment. I'll second. To eliminate uh, county clerk, county treasurer, sheriff, mm -hmm. county sheriff. And that's all of them, right? Because mm -hmm. the Discussion on the amendment. Uh, hearing none, all those in favor of the amendment? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. All right. Now on the resolution as amended. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion carried. Let's see. He abstained. Please. All right. No. Other? Yeah, thank you. Under other, I just wanted to say letting somebody who put in hundreds of hours into a policy speak on it, I wanted to let everyone else speak before myself. Um, I will continue to work on this policy. Um, thank you for passing the one for the majority of the employees. Um, that was the most important. The elected know what they're doing when they run for office. And I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your... Your input as chair of the Personnel Committee. Any other? Anything else? Well, yes, no. Mr. Chairman, just as a follow-up there, um, I think we are grateful for the work that was, that was put into that policy. Um, there is, there is a, an outstanding problem with respect to elected officials. Many of us, uh, I believe, think that, that no elected official should ever get a raise while in the term of office, and that any increases should be set for incoming officers mm -hmm. and for the position. And I really thought that was the reason for the for tabling of the resolution. Any hearing none, I'll look for a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay. 